What's up, Goy Squad? Famox here from Game On Your Face, and welcome to another player review. This one is definitely one for the wealthy, as we have a showdown between Evgeny Malkin and Steven Stamkos. This video is brought to you by Hot Puck Traders for all your Hot Puck needs. The rules. I will play both players for 7 games on 100 chemistry lines. They will not be assigned any boosts or captaincy cards. The overall grade will be based on 5 stats. Puck skills, skating, shooting, physical, and defensive. His current average price is 450k, putting him in the same price range as Movember Perry. Puck skills. He gets an 8. Malkin is great with straight stick handling. He can use his smooth hands and long reach to get around opponents. His loose puck deeks are also quick and effective. However, they're not as good compared to players like Kane, and you will notice they get very sloppy on long shifts. His passing is the same. It's above average, but still not the greatest that I've used, and he'll occasionally be picked off by defending sticks. Skating. He gets an 8.5. Malkin is faster than you might expect. His speed and acceleration really had me surprised. He's on par with some of the fastest players in the game and has no problem going coast to coast untouched. He's also quite agile and feels very easy to maneuver. The only thing that brings him down is his endurance. You'll notice that he's on a fast draining battery and he'll need to have quick shifts in order to recharge and play to his full potential. Shooting. He gets a perfect 10. His shot got a 10 in last year's review and in the time since, nothing has changed. He still has one of the best shots in the league. Whether he's standing still or moving full speed, Malkin can let it go and light the lamp. His wrist shot and slap shot are equally as effective, and if it doesn't go in on the initial release, it will at least cause a rebound. There really isn't anything bad I could possibly say about Malkin's shooting. Physical. He gets a 9. Malkin is a bigger guy, and he uses his size to his advantage. He's nearly impossible to knock off the puck. No matter how many players are working against him, he will almost always come out with control. And even when the puck's not on his stick, he's equally as dangerous, as he will use his size to smash his opponent with crushing hits. But don't get too cocky, there are still some bigger guys out there that can put Malkin down. Defensive. He gets another 9. Malkin has improved a lot defensively since the last time I played him. In his previous review, he was horrible in the draw, but this year he was surprisingly good. I had full confidence playing him as my number 1 center, and he went 39 for 58, giving him a 67% faceoff average. He also blocks shots and has a great stick. Whether he was stopping a play on the back check or creating one on the forecheck, he was always on point and didn't get any tripping penalties. However, his discipline wasn't perfect and he did pick up a few for boarding and charging. Total points. In 7 games, he got 9 goals and 2 assists for a total of 11 points. His overall grade comes out to 8.9 out of 10 or 89%. That's a B plus. Just 2% shy of this year's first A. Malkin has crushed all players I've reviewed so far, getting that 89%. He's so close to being that perfect player. It's just a few minor flaws that prevent it. He's great defensively, he's got one of the best shots in the league, and he has a very rare combination of speed and strength. The only thing that bogs him down is that he has poor endurance, and even though his puck skills are above average, they aren't necessarily spectacular. But still, he's set the bar very high. Let's see if Stamkos can match up. His price is currently averaging at 750k, putting him around the same price range as Crosby. Puck skills. He gets an 8.5. Stammer's puck and stick skills are very similar to Malkin. He has great puck control and is very quick with the loose puck deeks, but the longer he's on the ice, the less effective he becomes. Once his lines stamina bar gets into the yellow, his deeking becomes very sluggish. However, I found that he was a better passer than in game. He would connect with his teammates more often, even with heavy traffic around him. Skating. He gets an 8. Stamkos has some great wheels, and he can take off quick when he needs to, but again he runs into an endurance problem. He can't maintain his top speed for very long, and he'll quickly lose his zip on the ice. However, he does keep his agility, and he's pretty good with his tight turns and making small movements to throw off defenders. Shooting. He gets a 10. Just like Malkin, Stamkos' shot is perfection. There's really not much to say about it. If you know how to shoot and know where to shoot from, he will rarely let you down. He buries the majority of his goal scoring opportunities, especially if he can set up his famous stammer one time. Physical. He gets a 7.5. 
This is the one area that I felt a little disappointed with Stamkos' play. I know he's not necessarily a huge hitter, but I expected him to have a better balance and just overall strength. Unfortunately, he did not hold his ground as well as I expected, and was fairly easy to knock down. That being said, he's still a little bit stronger than the average player and can deliver solid body checks against the smaller guys. Defensive, he gets an 8. Stankos is fairly solid defensively. He has a good stick and will intercept most passes within his reach. However, he does run into a few problems. The main one being his discipline. He took way more penalties than I would have liked. Of course, some of them were human error and can be blamed on me, but three of the five were taken by his AI and completely out of my control. Another concern would be his face-offs. I expected Stammer to be better on the draw than Malkin, but it was actually the other way around. However, I don't find this one to be too big of an issue, as most people would put Stamkos on the wing anyways. But it does take him out of first line center contention. Total points. In 7 games, he got 6 goals and 5 assists for a total of 11 points. His overall grade comes to 8.4 out of 10, or 84%. That's a B. Stamkos is clearly one of the better players in the game. His skating and deking are great when he's fresh on the ice, and he has a decent playmaking ability. But of course, his strongest skill is his wicked shot. Having someone with such a high shooting percentage can be a real game changer. But he has his flaws as well. His poor endurance and discipline definitely set him back. So the question remains, Malkin or Stamkos? And while some areas of his comparison are very close, I have to place my final choice on Malkin. He really brings another level of dominance when he's on the ice. And on top of his performance, he also sells for 300k less than Stamkos, giving him a better overall value. But just like every review, this is based on my own opinion and from my own experience with the players in a short 7 games. So if you have a differing opinion, then feel free to share it with me and everyone else in the comments. Uh, now lately, a lot of you have been asking me to bring back the Canadian letter grades. And what I want you to know is that I have considered it, but seeing as I've done the whole year using the American grades, I don't think it would make sense to change it, like change it now. At the end of the year, I'll put a vote to it and we'll see what we do for NHL 16. But speaking of votes, don't forget to go to gameonyourface.com and make your selection for what player review you want me to do next Saturday. And if you're new here, then please go check out some of my past videos. And if you like what you see, then hit subscribe and become a valued member of the Goyf Squad, where I provide you with in-depth reviews so you can make informed decisions. I'm Famox from Game On Your Face, and I'll see you next time.